Welcome to another edition of Northern Heat. Today our special guest, as you can see here, he's got four paws. Hey, this is Brody and he's a therapy dog over here at the Foyer Valley Lope. And his uh, speaker or interpreter for the day is <laughs> Anil Sano. Annie, how are you today? Hi, good, thank you. Yeah, listen, the, uh, you know, we just announced here that Brody is, is a therapy dog here at the, at the Foyer, but what does a therapy dog do and like, do you just kind of take a dog out of the, the kennel and, and become a therapy dog, or does it, is it a little bit more than that? Well, it's a little bit more than that, but um, of course we we knew when we got Brody that he had a special temperament, so um, when we went to visit my mother-in-law, well, she's out in Grand Falls, so after a three-hour car ride, he got out of the car and he was very excited, and of course as a puppy would be, but then... Um, he went into her house and uh, he saw the wheelchair, saw the walker, and he immediately changed. He was only six months old and he knew, it seems like he knew that the he could The character changed right away. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So uh, we we then found out that he could be, uh, you know, something special to be a therapy dog. And uh, I looked into it and then there was a training that was happening with the St. John Ambulance. There's a few criteria to follow, of course. Yeah. But uh, we went through the training uh, with Brody and then uh, started bringing him here uh, at the foyer to see the residents. Well, there we go. And now you got your word to say too, don't you? <laughs> so, you know, one of the themes that we've been taking over the last little while is talking about culture and culture in New Brunswick, culture mainly in Northern New Brunswick, because we do have a special culture. It's different than any place else. And so, you know, part of, uh, of, uh, of Brody's job here is really to go out and, and uh, you know, change the people's attitudes and, 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 you know, give them a little bit of, of uh, good hope during the day and, and stuff. So I'm sure that, that uh, people have told him all kinds of stories about their culture and where they're from and stuff. Do you want to share some of those? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, we've noticed right away as soon as I started bringing him here at the foyer that uh, he brings out a lot of um, different characteristics of the residents because things that we wouldn't normally see with these residents uh, all of a sudden they come out when they see the dog and uh, of course there's a lot of dog lovers here and uh, and I'm sure that that comes from uh, you know their up grooming bringings and all that because uh, you know you hear definitely those stories about growing up on the homestead on the farms and having the dogs to protect the livestock and all that so definitely the people of uh, the north are uh, there are, he goes. Are, there he goes. <laughs> He's going to explore, yeah. <laughs> and, um, hey, yes. Brody, get back here. Come on. You're in the interview. Yeah. Get back here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when you're, when you're talking about, you know, a lot of people, they had dogs before, so they can, they can relate to that. And plus, you know, he's, he's got a great temperament. Yeah. And, and so, you know, he can, he's not jumping up on people. So that's, no. that's all great. But, you know, you talk about them having dogs and having all kinds of room. Yeah. And that's one of the things that we have around here, right? Yep. You know, you don't keep him in a kennel. I'm sure you've got all kinds of room for him to run. And, and so people that have and love animals, yeah. that's one of the things that we have in our area. Yeah, definitely. And that's one of the good things is that, you know, we've got um, acres of lands that are available, you know, for people. And, uh, and that's a great thing. It's not like a uh, tight urban area, you know, so we've got lots of room to roam and lots of trails and we can always bring him for exercise and everywhere we go people love to see them you know so it, it's really nice to have you know uh, wide green spaces to uh to explore with him and and meet other dogs and dog lovers and yeah it's oh, really absolutely a good place. so how many therapy dogs would there be in new brunswick or is this a common thing that that, that are around or yeah uh, somewhat i mean uh there were some um a lot of teams so they call us teams so the the master and, and the dog and um, you know they go through uh, the training and then they can go to hospitals or schools or nursing homes and that's pretty much the popular areas to go into and there's some all over New Brunswick I'm not sure how many exactly but uh, there's teams all over New Brunswick and um, yeah that's what they do they basically just visit uh, the people and uh, especially the people that need a little bit more care or a little more, more help, you know, and that are sick and it just brings a smile to their faces. Well, you know, I, I want to, to, to thank you. You know, I'm, my father lived here for a while and, yeah. and I know that he had a chance to meet, uh, to meet Brody through this. Yeah. But I want to thank you specifically to have picked up on the fact that, that, uh, that Brody was a special dog because of your mother-in-law and at the same time volunteering to uh to do this and, and bringing the dog here like mm -hmm. you know and, and that's kind of 
kind of a, a beautiful thing to do. So thank you very much for doing that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's gratitude every time that, you know, I, I come into work and I, I see the smile on everybody's faces that are so happy to see the dog and to see the changes in people as well. I mean, we had this lady that, um, you know, had a, a deep dementia and uh, didn't say a word for, for years. And then all of a sudden the staff had told her that uh, the dog was coming. So the next day when I went to see her with the dog, we walk into the room and she says, oh, hi, Brody, what a beautiful dog. So just like that. Yeah, just like that. And then yeah. she started telling stories about how she had a big white dog when she was younger and, and she went on and on. And it's beautiful. It's well, really nice to see. Well, yeah. again, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. And Brody, I want to thank you too because you're doing a great job out there and you seem to like this that I scratch you. Eh? Oh, yeah. So that's, the, that's what you like about this job. That's your reward about being a good dog. So here we are. Another edition of Northern Heat for this week. And somebody really special here that's doing a great job with some of our seniors from our area.